Where do you invest when everyone is obsessed with the NBA playoffs? Well, if you're me, it's everywhere else. And in this video, I'll share with you the 118 cards I cherry picked online and the reasoning behind why I feel I'll easily be able to double my money on this investment. Welcome back. Now let's get to work. Before I get in, I'd like to give a quick shout out to Wes Hot, Josh 60611, George Villanueva, Dylan Tar, Bad Heaven 22, and Estan Cards, who you can find on TikTok. Thanks so much, guys, and let's get into the video. All right, let's see what we got here. Starting with the smallest one on the left. Ah, these were my missing Tom Brady Bowman crumbs. Uh, who's this? Who the hell's this? Cornerback. Who are you? Antoine Molden. Okay. I don't know who you are, but I got to look at the sheet because I did not order Antoine Molden. Not sure who that is. So this is why we do this. But I got those two random Antoine Bolden cornerback cards and it was from this same set this uh this same set right here bowman chrome and i obviously did not order antoine smith so i messaged the guy and remember that's why it's so important to have this on video because when you have this on tape then you can show that you're not a scam artist and that you really just want the cards it's a pretty card I'm not a fan of the brown. I mean, it's like shit brown, but this little texture right here, I think that's really nice, really classy. All right, but it's good. The guy was really nice. He apologized and he just sent me these cards and and uh, you know, there's no, no room for debate because I had it on video and uh, I'll definitely order from him again. A lot of people ask me where I get these cards from and these are from card shops around the country that sell these very low end cards and a lot of them list them together on Beckett Marketplace. So that's where I usually go. It's not the nicest platform. Uh-oh. Sorry for something. I don't know if it's delay or, or what, but it says sorry for something. And I already see a LeBron in a Lakers jersey. Select the, the champagne of cards. If you haven't seen my select memes yet, I'll, uh, I'll make sure to pop one up, but I think select is a very classy looking card. Much classier looking than prism, especially those old Chipotle burrito prisms. Let's see, LeBron, Brady, Brady, and old school Breeze. I'm looking to get Breeze's 2006 base tops chrome, but that's tough to find. So this is an insert. It's still cool looking. But remember, 2006 was Breeze's first year in a Saints jersey, a Saints uniform. And uh, it's honestly kind of weird just to see Drew Breeze in a, a Chargers uniform. Because really, you think of Drew Breeze and he is Mr. Saint. He is not Charger at all. And it's, it's weird to even think that he played for the Chargers back in the day. All right, nice little pile there. My A-Rod and Ken Griffey Jr. Uh, refractor card. Uh, this one was selling for, I think, 15 or so dollars on Comp C. My, I had one listed and it already sold. And I think I was able to pick this up for four bucks or five bucks. So any card like that, I'll I'll buy for myself. I'll think of holding and then I might just go back and, and send to Comp C if I don't feel like it. Same thing here, Ken Griffey refractor, finest card, nothing special. And honestly, I don't like that red at all. I think, oh, it's a Hank Aaron award. Uh, I like that pose. You know me, uh, that Ken Griffey pose uh, where he hits home run. I love that. Dak Prescott. I don't, this isn't a rookie card, right? Oh, that's why I like it. Yeah, limited to 99. I like that. And uh, yeah, we'll see what Dak's year is this year, but pretty card. I like this set with the orange and the red, especially with the Tom Brady and the Gronk selects in this uh, tri-color because it's uh, Buccaneer colors. But I'll send that to Compsy. That's not a big deal. I just saw it, that it was underpriced. It was selling for more on Comp C. There was a recent sale and that's why I did it. Dwayne Wade. Yeah, I'm going into Dwayne Wade's now. 
And this, uh, I'll show you real quick, Kevin Durant. And I don't know what KD's career is gonna be like in Brooklyn, but I do know that at the beginning of next year, there should be a lot of hype around it. All right, LeBron selects, perfect timing to get these in now before playoffs. I can't believe it, man. It's like talking about NBA playoffs for so long and we're still not even there. It's just, it's still, as I record this, the beginning of July and we have all this time just until it starts. I think they're just going to training camp now and uh, man, it's just been forever. I'm not a, a fan of putting all these cards in the same sleeve. It's really a pain in the ass. But yeah, Dwayne Wade, I think, uh, I feel Dwayne Wade is, is obviously a Hall of Famer, a great player, multiple championships, not to the caliber of KD or to LeBron, obviously, but or Kobe, I think he's like right under Kobe level, but very collectible. I think the type of player Dwayne Wade is, I know when I lived in Miami, how popular he was and everyone had a Dwayne Wade jersey and his wife, what's her name, Gabrielle Union? Uh, she's an actress and she could keep Dwayne Wade in the media for a while, but very likable guy, uh, very collectible. First year select of, of Carmelo Anthony and uh, look, these were just really cheap. I don't think they're gonna pan out to anything, but I, I don't think I paid more than a dollar, a dollar fifty a piece. And it's the first year select, so if that takes off, then I'll be good right there. But Dwayne Waite, I think Dwayne's gonna have his time, obviously the Hall of Fame, but also just, I think he's gonna have a good post NBA career. I think he'll be relevant and he'll be maybe a commentator or, or just around NBA a lot more. You know, I'm actually impressed that I'm getting all these cards in top loaders. That's more expensive to ship and obviously you're, you're paying for the top loader, so I'm very impressed. Shaq Chrome cards, very low end. Look, this is nothing big. I don't think I paid more than a dollar, maybe a dollar fifty for these. And because it's a Laker jersey, I feel like there's a, a chance that any Laker jersey with Shaq has a, has a chance to do well whenever Kobe gets mentioned or whenever Kobe's documentary comes out. This, I mean, this is the first time I've seen these in person. If you saw my June sales and, and purchases, there's something about this insert it's a tops chrome from 09 i believe 09 and it's a shekel 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 c-h-i-c-k-l-e and they didn't they didn't make it for every player and they didn't make it on tom brady but i just loved this look and i was like wow that's really cool and they were dirt cheap and i could see myself making a whole wall or a whole display of just this card because i, I really like it it reminds me of what a, a 1935 drew Brees card would look like if he had played uh, 80 years ago. Low-end rookie cards of Damian Lillard, all of these are going up in price. So, uh, you know, I'd rather pay market value or close to market value for someone like his rookie card, knowing that it really is not gonna go down, especially at whatever I paid, which was probably $8 or so. <clears throat> Let's see, early Brady, this has gotta be 03. 02, okay, that's why I got it, because it's not a pretty card. But O2, look how young he is. I'm gonna bust you the fuck up. That's right. Tom Brady, Bowman's best. This has got to be old as well. O3, okay. Man, that seems like forever ago. This guy's still playing. 2002, 2003. Brett Favre, uh, that's not the nicest looking refractor card, but I was wondering about Brett Favre refractors as a lot of guys my age and a bit older get back in. And Brett was, he was the quarterback of the 90s in terms of just personality, that Packer green and yellow, uh, the way he would celebrate and jump on people after scoring a touchdown. Uh, I love Brett Favre. Plus, he was in one of my favorite movies, which is There's Something About Mary. You remember that? Brett? What the hell is Brett Favre doing here? I'm in town to play the Dolphins, you dumbass. Drew Brees, I don't know what the hell is his sideline pass, flare showcase. I don't know why I got it, but it must have been cheap. First year, 2006, I'm fine with that. Uh, I wish it wasn't an insert. I didn't know it was an insert, but it is numbered. So there's 999 of these Drew Brees cards, and I like Flair Showcase. I, I like it as a look. I just don't know what the sideline pass is, if that's an insert or if they just wrote that 
on the base card. Students work hard, get cards. Yeah, great. School's awesome. Anyway, Mike Trout, this must be a 13. 13 Mike Trout, yeah, not second year, we're going into third year now, but I only paid a few dollars and feel like anything like, anything of his is pretty much LeBron-like, where as long as the card market keeps going the way it is, and a player like him keeps performing reasonably well, he'll be fine. My Mike Tyson cards. Uh, I remember seeing that Jamie Foxx is playing Mike Tyson in a movie coming up, and so I gladly jumped on on that card and a lot others. I think these are first year selects, first year prism, first year uh, you know, tri uh, Chipotle burrito wrapper of Stamkos. And uh, you know, sometimes I get cards just to get the free shipping because there's free shipping over a certain amount. And that means I have to fill the order or I pay shipping. And I don't want to pay shipping for five or six dollars if I could just get a couple extra cards and uh, for five or six bucks that I think will either make money or break even. Uh, Chris Godwin's select rookie card. Those are pretty. I think these are my first select rookies of Chris Godwin. Gronk. I wonder, is this his first year? I think that's his first year select of Gronk. And then I've been going into my AP refractors. Topps Chrome refractors. I believe this is second year. 08. Yeah, so 2007 was his rookie year. 2008. And if there's going to be a running back that's a, a hall of famer that's cards are going to go up i think it'd be adrian peterson this guy has just lasted forever he's overcome injuries overcome beating his kid with a stick and that being in the news and i liked him i i, I still do more drew Brees. i think this was two this is 2006 I, I hope so but if not it's okay 2006 nice so first year in a saints uniform flare showcase so I, I like that and i think i just got some shit tape on the on the card I'll figure that out. Beautiful. And there's another one of those sideline passes numbered to 999. So I got two of them. This one's awesome. I wish I could get more of these. These are, well, I got two of the chromes and then a couple of the regulars, but the chromes are, that, those are sexy right there. Drew Brees, first year tops chrome, 2006. Look at that shine. And then you got base, and the bases don't do a damn thing. I mean, these were like 50 cents or so, but it is still the first year of Drew Brees in the Saints uniform. I think it's pretty cool seeing him young, seeing him so small, and knowing that he's gonna have a, such a great career in New Orleans. Bowman Chrome, this must be the first year. Let me see if it's the first year or second year for Drew, as I scuff up all the other cards. Yeah, 06. So anything first year Drew Brees in the Saints uniform, I'm going to consider buying. Kobe Bryant, I've gotten several of these, but they sell well. It's a cool pose, cool picture, nice card. And yeah, Derek Jeter. I'm happy to get Derek Jeter. I think that's first year select of Derek Jeter, future Hall of Famer. I know this one was selling for a couple dollars, uh, like five bucks on Comp C, and I think I got this for like 75 cents or a dollar. No demand for Frank Thomas, but hey, I, I used to have his shoes when I was a kid. There was like Frank Thomas shoes, and my mom wouldn't get me expensive Nikes. So I had Frank Thomas, I don't know what Payless sold, but some sort of Payless Frank Thomas shoes, and, and that worked out. And then Ken Griffey, Refractor. He looks like he has a beer gut, but uh, that's Ken Griffey. I like it. And who do you think I'm going to start with? Tom Brady, must be 2002, 2003. 2003, early Tom Brady. Very basic card. I mean, that is the definition of a basic card. Not Nothing special, but early Brady. OJ Howard, uh, I think this is, yeah, silver rookie. And I don't know what kind of year OJ Howard's going to have, but with Gronk there, with all these other weapons, if Gronk goes down or can't perform, then O.J. Howard could be a, a, a huge addition to the Bucks team, and he's a great blocker as well, so they like using him there. Rob, uh, yeah, early year refractors of Rob Gronkowski I'm going to take. I'll take all the Adrian Peterson, Offensive Rookie of the Year, and then I love that cut, man. That is his cut. 
This one's interesting with the Pro Bowl jersey, but his Vikings helmet. I actually like that. And I like seeing the Pro Bowl there. I, I don't know, it's relaxing, it makes me think of Hawaii. Uh, got lucky on this one, Drew Brees Refractor, same year, 2008, I believe. And then first year optics of Damian Lillard, and I've been trying to get these uh, if I can find them, just because I see the first year optics going up of all the other players. And Damian Lillard's in that category, top 10 player in my in my book. Was his second year select right after his uh, rookie year, 2012-2013. First year select of Dirk, nothing special there. Uh, one of my Nikola Vucevic cards sold, and I was wondering if I should just buy more, because I remember thinking, he's a pretty good player. He just plays for Orlando, so if he goes to another team, or Orlando actually does better, I, I think people will pay attention to him. And uh, I figured, you know, for like $2 a piece, it's worth the, the gamble. Dwayne Wade, another Bowman Chrome there, another Bowman Chrome there. And then the other guy that I'm actually really intrigued on is A-Rod. And it's not because of his baseball career, because uh, I, I wasn't really watching him when he played baseball. I knew he had big contracts, he had steroids, he had all these issues, but he also had some great years. But because I'm hearing him in post, uh, his post career in interviews and in business interviews, and he, I actually think he's quite likable in the business world. He's actually quite a, yeah, he's put, you know, he gives a good interview and he's self-deprecating, so I really like that. Early Derek Jeter right there, wow. I'm gonna bang every girl in New York and Tampa. That's where they do spring training. And uh, yeah, the rumor gets around that Derek does what he wants, which uh, you can't blame him. So in the end, I only paid $220 for all 118 cards, which means I only need to net $3.37 per card in order to double my money. Now, based on the great condition of the Tom Brady cards and the Drew Brees cards, I think that will be very easy because I could even get those graded, perhaps get nines and tens and easily make 20 to $40 profit per card. The other ones like the LeBron Lakers jerseys, that, that those are selling right now for more on Comp C. So if I can liquidate during the big playoff push and if the Lakers are doing well, that could easily be a 2X, maybe more return. And the biggest risks are the second year prisms and the first year selects. As time passes and first year prism cards get more expensive, I see the second year prisms becoming more desirable and the first year selects becoming an option. I don't know if that'll happen, but remember I paid such a small amount that I can hold and even if I have to liquidate, I could probably get my money back at the worst. Let me know what one card stuck out to you the most. Let me know in the comment section below and stay tuned for the next video. I'll see you over there.